Previously on Behind the Shield. Every game, whether we win or lose or, or, or draw, I want to be able to walk away and say, thank you UMass for that experience because we learned X, Y, and Z. Everyone has a fresh slate with a new coach and everyone's very committed to the program and we know that we have a lot of potential. We will get better every day. We will start to turn and see more results and find more success. Um, we'll put ourselves in a really good position um, come Patriot League play. Preseason, they don't know anything about any team, and I'm thinking as a leader of this program, how can I use this and, and fuel it for something positive? And one quote, I walked into work the next day and I explained, this is what the preseason poll is, and I honestly, I ripped the piece of paper up and, and dropped it on the floor, and one of the quotes the girls wrote on the whiteboard the next day in the locker room was a quote that I had about it saying, we welcome the challenge. Once we were ranked the lowest ones, I, I was upset, I didn't expect that, but uh, when coach came in, when she talked to us, when she took the poll and she ripped it, I was like, well, this is getting serious, we have to like prove people wrong, and she said we have to accept the challenge, and we are accepting the challenge. That came out one morning, and even by the afternoon, by practice, everyone had heard of it, and everyone had read Coach Brown's feedback on it, how she said that we welcome the challenge as a team. We put that quote on the board in the locker room and everything, and we have nothing to lose at that point. You want, like, people will say what they want about us and our program, and it's just really we're in the only position is to go forward and prove everyone wrong. It was a really inspiring experience because whatever is on paper doesn't reflect like who you are as a team. So um, especially going into the Patriot League, like previous records don't matter. Like it is who you are during game day is what really matters. So it's 3v3 in this space. Does everyone see this rectangle here? Got a good, it's 3v3 plus one. All you need to do is whoever can successfully connect two in a row, you then have the ability to play forward. I think the UNH game is a great representation of the fight that does exist in their bellies. And I told them, it's there. Everyone can see it, and that's awesome. And again, build on that. From that game, we saw that we can do it. And at the end of the game, obviously, we're all bummed that we weren't able to do that earlier and that we're still able, really, like, we still conceive those three goals. But it showed. I think it gave everyone a boost of confidence because we can do it. It's just a matter of not waiting however many minutes, 70 minutes to get the ball rolling. Like those are the games that we have to come out. We can't dig ourselves a hole. Like we can do it. We have the capability to put two goals in in 10 minutes. So we just need to come up. We can't wait for a team to put us down in order to react. I think winning or losing, our mindset is not, oh, we're losing, let's just put our heads down. I think our body language when we step on the field is really important. Like our heads are up, even though that they were winning through nothing, I think us coming back and being even more excited about the second half. Uh, it's, it's what got us the two goals. An area that we need to take from that is, again, the positive that we have that fight, we have that persistence, that determination. I love that about this team. But it's how can we take that sense of urgency and fight and, and bring it for 90. We want this timing to work before I add real pressure forwards. You guys gotta be looking to each other, talking to each other, and make sure uh, midfield, when you're playing that pass, and they need to know. It's almost better being the underdog because teams don't know what to expect from you. So I think you can surprise teams a lot. And I think during the Patriot League that we will do that. We are a force to be reckoned with, and I think that it's time that people realize that. We all know it. I think we all know we're fully capable of making the tournament. Every training session, everybody goes 110%. It's a highly competitive environment where everybody's pushing each other to become the best they can be. It's a clean slate. The record you have in non-conference doesn't affect making the tournament or anything like that. So I think that going into the Patriot League, we all know that anything can happen with any teams in the Patriot League. I just feel like it would really show everyone in this league that this is what Holy Cross soccer is. I think it's refreshing, kind of. We can't set those, uh, the games that we lost, we can just put that outside and uh, make sure we give it our all through the season. Or we'll definitely um, take things one game at a time. And I know that sounds maybe cliche, or I've said it before, and the girls hear me say that, but it's, it's really true. It's how we approach every training. Um, and it's how we go into every game. Every game is an opportunity for us, particularly in Patriot League play, to earn, 
earn three points, earn a point, and move forward in the table. And that's, that's really the focus is chipping away each day at, at, at each of those Patriot League opponents.